is to develop more videoing. Everybody using video on the mobile devices of all the cool artwork and experimental video art. So let's see what we got. And I'm going to let the board members of this first episode take it from here and tell you more about Hat Cow and how artists, even people not artists, can be involved with Hat Cow. <laughs> Inaugural episode of Heck TV at Heck the House. Uh, it's our mission to nurture a diverse and inclusive community of local artists right here in Scottsdale, Georgia, and unincorporated DeKalb County, and amplify them to the community at large. And in our first episode, we're going to focus on some of the board members here at Heck because we're all local artists too. So let's hear from a few of them right now. Tech House is providing a low cost art venue um, for all artists. Um, do you do jewelry? Do you paint? Are you a performer, musician? We're coming together as artists to change the way we understand art venues. Um, what the reach is in uh, the artist community. Uh, being an artist is personal for everybody, um, but it's easy to understand that coming together um, with this nonprofit Heck House is changing our lives and it's changing our community for the better. What is it that um, Heck House needs right now? Um, Heck House really would need volunteers. Um, we are developing a volunteer sheet to help us understand and get to know our volunteers a little bit better. We uh, would love to accept any donations uh, that you would be generous to offer. If you go to our website www.heck.house, um, we have lots of different platforms to donate. Uh, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, it's all up there on our website. So we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Um, and we hope to meet you soon. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Hi, I'm Katrina. I uh, create newsletters at Heck and I'm on the board. Uh, I love design and I love supporting art in my neighborhood. Hi, my name is Abby Argo and I'm the chairperson for the Board of Heck House. I'm also an artist with a primary focus in advocacy for the disabled and plus size community. I first became involved with Heck House in 2019 when Paula invited me to participate as an artist in the first annual Last Minute Krampus, which is a consignment based art market that invites local artists to market and sell their wares around the holidays. Needless to say, I really enjoyed it, and I've been participating in Hex community since then. Last Night at Krampus is only one of many ways that Hack House supports the local art scene, and I strongly encourage, if you're interested, to get involved, ask questions, volunteer, uh, just come hang out with us. We'd love to have you. So, in conclusion, love Hack, love ya. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you need help, then dial your operator. artist is going to be joining us live and this individual if you've ever been to heck before you have probably seen them working the fingers to the bone uh, whether it's running technical staff uh, on the sound whether it's running logistics uh, that kept the wheels running but of course they are also an artist and we get to see that today so, uh, Empty and Candy, will you uh, join me on stage? No. No. Woo! Difficult yeah. to the last. How's it going, Timothy? How's everyone?
going to hop into things. Is that cool with y'all? Can I kick it? Kick it. Yes, you can. Thank you. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. You like you. Lit my cigarette on a Bunsen burner, dungeon like a paranoid in my drunken fervor. Another murmur in my ear, I hit the deck, hallucinating silhouettes, rumination, discontent, produce frustration, immensely dread where all of these civilians live. Accumulated disrespect, my spirits while on a ship of sinning cosmos, distant guests disallowed. Just about earth, explicit pledge, I introspect, so I'm checking myself. Good education, bad health, I spit stars on beats. Vindication is mad rep. Talk of leaves, I'm cold train in space, dog. I made giant. Dripped out in the R wing is all peace with a riot. Have to be smart bombs like slaughter or space time. Bejeweled hands get plunder around these parts. I'm lucky brand get to asunder by bleak box. I've been alone for a minute. Itinerant lifestyle ended. Scared of pestilence, infected the best spit. I am attested, kept the mask on like Liberian keys on Halloween. My method is rancor, pinnacle. Let's give me fatality, the only way you will enter my inner sanctum is dead No cronies acting good, I can't ever bang on my head Mail don't peace to the missus, the anguish she grabs Matter of checks, no government could enact nor amend Like circumstances prevent, way to neck my strategies next Slowly is seasick, McCanny is ill for a detriment Biological warfare disappearing, thwart creeping By all logic pros, he ain't get X'd out by the demon What you macking on? Flirting with death, holding that microphone Amrex on it, leave that mic alone Lazarus a crisis zone, foundation full of sick of fans, a pack full of mindless drones, my mighty pros, time approach, how you gonna deny my throne, laser cannons, guard doors, gonna get forward, score attack, cause I am the god MC dog, see him try to get it all backwards. I've had visions of doom, fin fang foam, in the streets of Manhattan, pray the rain comes soon. With dirty duds, got soil and green inside the beef wrap, crap shoots in the jungle up to Sinclair, gotta eat fast. Something sinister led us here, worst thing it didn't, clearly conflict is real as here. How does murder world bite, pass all the OSHA violations? Dirk Phoenix gets scot free with total annihilation. Tony Stark's wanna Wu Tang sword inside the atmosphere, gazillionaire, engineer, it'll make a difference here. Pick a pair of parties of Civil War in Congress, you can get Captain America, still die from starving, both are options. Many ways to die, you can never tell. Delta 8 legal law will say that you will sell an L's and serve a ticket. All the sentences deserve a better deal, put them back on the block quick, we call it curb appeal, goddamn circus here, streets rob Kirkman here, you ain't invincible, you can walk with the dead, dollars and cents don't mean grind when you gotta connect, I'm talking plugs and Wi-Fi, I mean your homies and friends, look, living up on time, the clock don't tick, in this marvelous necropolis, the bottom of hell, a wanderer says, this is obviously fate, marked by his zest, up until monsters ascend, watch them start to refresh, or hit apartments condemn, there Came the door and kneel, ain't no god he can beg to look. Whose ways are strange when it's time to survive? Pray when it's dangerous, safe, and we laugh at gods. A lot of stuff happens that the news won't tell. Use politicians invest in body bags, headstones, tombs, roll coin, tell stock you. Out of bond, ballroom, with no vaccines from foreign lands, variants in the world, boom. King of the dead, siege, perilous, courageous, can't take my citadel. Infantry man, storming me, hidden offense, guillotine the neck, sleep with the dead, I'm clear. Really exempt, fuck these old cats. Secret wars and public dignitaries constant. Eat the scorn to me, it all means nothing. Hold your insulting tongue, mark my words, well I've seen infinite futures. Each I've heard tell of your demise and walls to tall, eye holes in a critic's frame. Got to take a conqueror, all the same different name. He remains at the end of time, it's gotta be one miserable being. Look. What's left behind? What's the game for real? Let's settle on the first real danger, freedom, love, goodness, sin. In the latter silence, nothing left but comfort to sin and watch time unfold. The victor dies alone, uh. Overhead wings, graceful approaches, angels and vultures, over.
requirement. Saddle Ridge, horde for the home team. Rebels with all who misspoke on little old me. Mass recruitment in my diagram. Mind on black box. I'm Arsene Lupin with the sleight of hand and the mask on. Stylist says market tire master. Every cash crop. I be Macari to any wiretap in the task force. Back off. You might need security like Jamie Foxx. Dreams on Azathoth. Cousin asleep is my baby mom's long way to go. Privilege one. I pocket my loose change. Not a pain in my family tree. I showcase a new face. Faulty frame don't recognize no old place. On new faith, miss me with the dead alliances, dog. I'm Luke Kang. Who case will the animated new rain on aberration? Been feeling myself like picking the scat wound. Skeet my higher aspiration. Bad will assassination. Throw dogs to the Reaper Trust, they'll throw it back soon. turning on by itself. This is the problem. Uh, it's not about the sound, it's about my gear fucking up. Amazement and in this maze of life, it's so hazy, right? Green fish to metal, immune to toxins, dive in the case of like immunity would be new to me. Impunity couldn't save a life, I've got a voice. Hoping my mama had done raise me right, cause I've been raising hell like Atlas carry the globe. Got the good fight, made the beat, but I am barely composed. I ride the rhythms versus heat seat. My methods to cope, I got memories very deep, deep. I wouldn't dare to approach. Flash a smirk and give a nod, like face is not a facade. The real joke is conditioning, now I'm guarding my door. The fortresses against the future, jewels posed by some fools. Forced to sit with my abusers, human host, and not my wounds. Start to the imposter, hit the line if you need it. Don't believe it, pattern read it, call it how I see it. Reason me in anguish between, I got the ball to the face. John Bond is what I say. You resume playing Tekken. Keeping signs of betrayal like they're adorned in decay. A robe and microorganisms spread all over the place. Treated below the appraised. Anxiety coded, seeking attention, holding space for complaints. I'm prone to keeping my lips zipped. I ain't open no things. I beat it down into my psyche. I ain't showing no grace. I'm dreaming about getting my peace. Lost some roll for the pace. Beeping wild, keep my eyes peeled. Stones throw from my pain. Here and now, if they define me. should check it's up my bag i'm prepared for apocalypse they caught me crazy said it was a lot of myths a ruse a hoax likelihood assuredly low yet we in here clown who's the fool now i got me plenty of flint these waterproof matches keep me warm many a stint like warming food famished or cold in the encampment diplomacy a hatchet and machete when raiders come swing mate riddance quake multi-tools and screws make repairs on all my local needs completed by the radio hopefully not only crees narrate the airways dare save their save likely not once found a safe house stairway Full of goons turn ghouls, assorted slain rambos continue the trek. Fruit seeds I drop on my travels, hope they spawn the vines and trees. After I leave, sip water from ravine, life straw in my canteen. Got Benadryl for my allergies, hand crank radio turn happily, cuz I ain't fiddling with batteries. These dark times prop my head up on a pillow. Felix the cat levels up preparedness for real though. Check this out my bag, I'm prepared for apocalypse. They caught me crazy, said it was a lot of myths, a ruse, a hoax, likelihood assuredly low. Yet we in here, clown. Who's the fool now? You should check us up my bag Been ready for doomsday Regardless of when it arrives Or who's to blame Call me a skeptic And crew and all the weapons Y'all all voiced out Who's paranoid now?
like a jacket. I came from nothing. Not even mirrors, my homies. I maintain this trust, man. Face facts, get your data crunching. I'm the bomb inside the shelter. I contain destruction. I'm ahead of the game, uh. And you, my latest hunting on a flag. If you don't escape the cunning of the sharpshooter, uncanny. Imp in the pantry with vinegar guns off. A dip terror, so dip terrors off. Uh. Compound eyes can't see me in the dark. Tommy Troy, young blood priest. I'm reaching for your hearts. Midnight Marauder on a quest to harpoon your wings. X Factor, it's a secret. It's just that thing. And this your final hour. You're hiding behind the flower or swarming in my apples, but you're not. Brian Howard, bud, you're in trouble since you buzzed in coward, bet not see my pie devoured, a coffee be misplaced, not even rest from get the slip from Eisenhower, you ignite the powder keg, I dug stronger foes, when I had a thousand legs, I spent the dome with heights in my storage box, I had no security, I couldn't afford the locks, ears proper buzzing by, focus, keep my eyes peeled, you trying to invade, I got the raid for you right here, there you are, fucker, eyes up like the dice rig, suicide trip here, bumble guy, miss meal, swat. Pants to the heavens, no man a weapon shall have me Waxed up a pinch and throw gas on they professions Imperator on the bottom of a pyramid scheme Will I escape my glass coffin? Remains to be seen I've had this thing for the scene spit So unlock it but your hands contain all the keys Slumber on me, I got deprivation of sleep A crew behind me, sober addicts a dangerous team Inside the chambers of kings, uh Sober addicts, the real leaders you need Separately, we beast collectively A regime, respectively The squadron all effectively weak I got that fire doll like Arcanine On beats, I wreak havoc Shoot plasma beams, I lay waste to the scene Y'all waste lines, belts and rhymes That ain't great on repeat I'm a skinny nigga with big rhymes Make gain on my steeds, reap a cutlery Eat beast, fake apron my seas Uh False starts and false alarms, saliva drip, don't want water, not often parched, I always have flow, just add a couple walls and start a door, no ceiling for my gorgeous home, my rabbit thoughts is out the box, Tony and Vivian support my art like it's a noble cause, sculpture rap, I'm armed with sauce, y'all need to order gauze, I come and mitre off your arms, I hope the guards carcass rocks, I box them up like storyboards for coming on my hostile block, <sighs> I'm in the lab like I'm Tartakov Ski mask on, get mine the fast way and off the law Flip pennies convincing all of y'all that these are dollar thoughts All of these don't push the keys around, it ain't a harpsichord Got that flame of passion kick, raps like I'm martial law We'll occupy a hall with y'all for martial law Wordplay flow game, got your iPhones waterlogged I'm sicker than assault dogs, need vaccines, I'm coughing SARS can I talk my shit again? Even if y'all ain't listening, I dig it, man. Y'all quick to deliver threats. I'm discontent when I intercept. Y'all malicious, I'll get tired quick. Oh man, y'all minute, it, man. Soon as y'all go ham, start looking like some guinea pigs. My job to catch rappers slipping, call it a business trip. I black a mark out. I like skeleton, it's a silhouette. Stuff them out like cigarettes, dodge parliament, look innocent. My flow tremendous hit overcast and condensates. My rain immense, corrosion drown in martyr state. Try to Joust me doom in the battle zone like the Atari games. Every bout eat words, meet catacomb. I'm hard to ace. I got a spade, put you in coffins with ungodly grace. Acting out a turn before my play. No debate, girl movements, lightning grenade. Like Monka's counter, I'm in beast mode. What's up, uncanny imp? I'm out you. I'm not playing that.
myself a burger deal. It's I'm taking a break. I'll be back. Introducing the Grande Meal Deal from Taco Bell. A delicious burrito supreme, regular taco, medium drink, and cinnamon crispers, all for $2.89. Just one of three Grande Meal Deals from Taco Bell. No quiero Taco Bell. Uh, hi, uh, can I get, uh, two beefy five layer burritos, a crunch wrap supreme, a quesarito, uh, a dozen Cinnabon delights on the side, a large Sprite, no ice. Uh, we don't have Sprite. My bad. Let me get a medium sweet tea and like 50 packs of Diablo sauce for the free. Let me get a case of Lupa loaded with black beans, three soft taco supremes. You want the combo? Please. Sierra missed a drink, four chicken quesadillas, and another with steak. We out of steak. I feel you. Instead, tack on a party pack of veggie nachos. Y'all still got the Mexican pizza joint thing? Nah, we ain't got those. Let me get uh two hash browns. That's only for breakfast. We ain't got that now. Uh, Pigeon, you want anything? Yeah, some cinnamon twists. Some cinnamon twists, and yeah, that's it. That'll be 5188, leave, pull around to the window. Uh, cool, thank you. Ready? Woo wee, Pigeon, are you hungry or what? Absolutely. I forgot my wallet. Fuck, they were closed. Who would have thought? That's absolutely wild, is it not? Yeah, they were definitely closed. That's the story. I'm sticking to it. I don't want to do that one, actually. Sorry. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Where is it? Lord, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Lumped over the Serta, lungs crushed from the inertia. Fervent fevers prior now amount to a seeping dormant, lonely hearted, lowly carcass. Postured in its pitiful state is vacant, a company outside of the digital discord going on outside. M's is in an umbrella of corporations affording expansions to hide. Meanwhile, the low famished grovel over cup noodle ends with folks and different to all strangers, friends, and cobras. Count days, telly marsh stretched down hallways. No world from this enclave the pendulum ticks earth spins who cold plays spent time in darkness between life and about dreams corner clientology falls stop down in faith saw the alga and his primal there's no way to about face we move forward losing focus like a fort wreck no concord no magic relics to rewind it no amount of riches to comfort you on the other side board ships on river sticks pence left in the corporeal Cut my dollars despite my gains, uh. And cut my nose just despite my sense. We're all variants hiding from the time variance authority. Are we atoms in the air breathing? Is there much more to be? Can't stomach it. Rather hard and curious than spill my guts to avoid meetings with my love. A dead pool of words spew locked eyes to death sockets. I pine for a toxic, cover my oculus and attempt to grow more heartless, uh. Leave me alone, it's nothing serious, mere showbiz to you I'm no muse, more entertainment for the lead on the score Hiding the body ain't easy when the body's your own No Jizo statues on the path that we all travel Build towers into Empyrean domains, watch them unravel At the hands of yokai who will chase you to the depths Of this limitless limbo, whatever destiny's at the end There's no easy trials, my friends The only guarantee in life is scheduled to perform live tonight but couldn't be here health episode we hope he's on the mend uh but jeremy richmond uh is a part of our team who has helped uh produce a lot of the artist videos and we have one coming up on one of our favorite local artists many many mediums for this brother 
And uh, when I say local, I mean right down the street. We have a video coming up on Jeffrey Solomon and Smile and Death. You are enough, and everything you do belongs here. I am a poor, wayfaring stranger. Hi, <laughs> my name is Jeffrey Solomon. I go by Smile and Death uh, for my visual art and music. Um, I am a multidisciplinary artist, uh, born and raised in Atlanta. Traveling through. My style is accepting it's lowbrow it's honest i'm a multi-disciplinary artist so i tattoo i paint i draw i love embroidery i love working on fabric i like dyeing fabric i like sewing clothes um i love wood i love carving with wood i love uh building out of wood i like metal i like uh you know making structures out of metal uh, there hasn't really been a material I've found that I don't like. I'm also a musician. I was classically trained for a number of years. Uh, now I'm a folk singer. I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I sing about my life. I sing about my times. I think sing about the things I believe in. There's no sickness, toil, nor danger. In that bright land to which I go. I'm also a tattooer. Um, that's my day job, is uh, tattooing people. So I will um, put out a whole ton of different designs, and then people choose what they resonate with, what they'd like to have on their body, and then we get to work out um, how they would like that laid out on their form for the rest of their life. All of my art is interconnected. So all of these practices influence one another. I think the most direct way that my music is affected by my visual art is by my style. And by that, I mean my lack of pretentiousness. I want my music to be accessible. I want it to be honest. I want it to be authentic. Um, and when I work from that kind of place, it can't help but create a tone that is authentically Jeffrey. Um, my artwork shares, all of my artwork shares in this style that is just imbued with my being, with my perspective, with my values, with my experience. Um, and that's unavoidable in all of my art forms. And that's what I seek to foster in all of my art. That voice of Jeffrey. I would describe my style as queer folk art. Um, it is unpretentious. It is art for the people. Um, it comes from a very honest space. Uh, I am a queer Southern artist, so all of my perspectives are influenced by that. Um, what it means to be raised in a Christian family that I was an outsider, you know, a secret outsider to for, for you know, my whole childhood, my whole coming up. Um, then to my adolescence, discovering my community, finding my place in it. Um, and then to my adulthood, uh, fostering that, creating communities where other people can show up as who they are, um, even if they weren't accepted as kids. My brand is called Smile and Death. Smile and Death is a moniker I picked up in 2017. I was uh, living with two other artists in Old Fourth Ward while I was going to school um, who had gone through a lot of loss in that uh, last year. We had all gone through a lot of loss. And uh, that really galvanized our relationship. Um, and I was talking to one of my roommates, Randall, and uh, he was talking about the beauty in death, the joy in death, the, the life-affirming qualities that death 
can bring that that living with grief can garner in you um and he said the term smiling death um and at that time i was drawing just tons and tons and tons of skulls with these big ghoulish smiles um and it clicked i was like oh, that's that's the practice that's what i'm doing smiling death going there to see my daddy it has been said that art comes from either light or shadows where does your art come from well the interesting thing about dichotomies is they are a construct <laughs> there's not like light and darkness um Shadows are a consequence of light. <laughs> you know, those two things are inextricable from one another. Uh, and that's where my work comes from. I have gone through a truly incredible amount of loss and grief in my life. Um, and I've had to find that spark, that joy, that reason to live. Uh, I found it in my practice. In, in creating. Um, so although my art is born out of darkness, it is light. It's that candle in the shadows. Um, the world is a dark place. And if we forget that, we are being complacent to even more darkness coming in and hurting people hurting others um however if you just open your heart and and have empathy without boundaries it's self-destructive you're gonna kill yourself so you need to find a balance there between the shadows and the light between reality and an imagined ideal we need to fantasize we need to create a better world uh but we can't do that without recognizing and being aware of that darkness You are enough, and everything you do belongs here. My work strives to bridge the gap. Go in there, no more to roll. I don't want to make good art. I don't want to make perfect art. I don't want to make nice art. Um, I don't want to make technically savvy art. I want to make art that's honest. And to be honest, there's a lot of darkness in my personality. There's a lot of darkness in this world. There's a lot of grotesque nature to our reality. Um, and I want to make space for all of that in my work. I want to make space for where all of Jeffrey to fit in. So I can inspire someone else to be like, oh, yo, Jeffrey's living authentically. I can live authentically. Like, hell yeah, that ignites a fire in our society. Um, cause colonialism tells us we got to be good. We got to be perfect. Consumerism tells us we're not enough. We need to buy shit. This work is, is a salve for that. It's a medicine for that. Just a go in over Jordan. I believe that our society is very sick right now. We have a very unhealthy relationship with the world, with our humanity, with each other, with dying. We are an eternal springtime cancer growth. You know, like, there's never time for rest. There's never time for death. Shove the old people into houses. Let them die quietly and away from us. Keep the sick away from us. We've got a GDP to grow. My artwork is taking that loss, that queerness, that grotesqueness, that humanity, and painting it all friendly like, painting it in a way that people won't necessarily notice how um, dark the message can be. I am just going over her home. The darkness and the light within us.
because we're whole. That's what Smile and Death is here to do. Thank you. space here uh you can't catch it on camera but one of his murals is on the wall in here um so we're going to now go to a couple of videos from two more of our board members who are going to tell you a little bit about how they feel about heck that house so why did i want to get involved at the heck house um i saw heck house grow uh i passed by it all the time uh, before they started doing their murals. It was kind of old, run down, um, and they made it into something beautiful after they started painting it and adding um, tons of garden art. Um, they started having events there. I went to my first event at Heck House. It was a drag show, um, and that's where I met Paula. Paula is an amazing person, and she has really inspired me to grow as an individual uh, to get more involved in helping people, helping our local artists. Um, I myself am an artist. I enjoy doing earrings and jewelry. Um, it definitely comes from a place of soul, uh, universal love for me. So, and it's, it connects to my spirituality. You know, I um, was very sad and depressed uh, at one time when I had to change careers. Um, it was after I had my two children and creating jewelry for me kind of started this new career, um, new purpose that I found that I was extremely passionate about. Um, and I want to help other people with, you know, all different backgrounds and skill levels to amplify their artwork, to, to help them um, sell their art um, to teach the community how to repurpose and reuse trash or what otherwise would have been thrown, you know, in the landfills. Um, we're making keychains and sun catchers, um, just connecting and networking and doing everything I can to support artists and support the Heck House. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm still playing Paula for getting me involved with all these. But I can, one thing I'm uh, certain, that Hack House is full of crazy people and animals. So watch out. So what makes Hack House so insanely crazy? Because uh, it is a, a buy and for crazy people. Hey, I'm Timothy Patton. Uh, I'm one of the board members at Heck.House, and uh, I'm a big fan of Heck, and I want to tell you why. Um, there's, there's a few reasons. Uh, one is uh, that I've lived in the neighborhood for a really long time. I've always wanted something like this. Uh, you know, art and music in walking distance from my house. This is one of those things you miss when you move out of the city, and like, here it is. Uh, it's also this amazing sense of community grows around that kind of thing. And the other, the other reason is entirely selfish. I'm an artist myself and heck has provided opportunities um, for my band Pajama Garden and also um, for my visual arts, uh, Rune Dog Art. And I want to uh, 
in this video give you a little sneak preview of a upcoming RuneDog art show. This is a sneak preview of the upcoming RuneDog art show tentatively titled Alter Alter 2. All of these interfaith altars are made with reclaimed and reconditioned materials. I know as artists, we never like to pigeonhole ourselves with broad terms, but can you give us a general description of how you feel you've developed your style for your visual arts? Interesting. Um, well, I always thought of my painting as being something along the lines of fanciful expressionism. Um, but I have so many different mediums, and I'm not sure that they all really fit that description. say that art comes from either the light or the shadows. Do you think that's true? And if so, where does yours come from? Um, my art comes out of the shadows into the light. Art is, um, is always bringing something out of the private depths of the soul and bringing it out in a very public and demonstrative way, whether that's in song or in paint. So this one is made out of reclaimed pallet wood and scrap two by fours. It's a split level altar. The hardware comes from a mid-century end table. The formica was ruined on the original table. The wood is painted and then sealed with an oil rub. This one is called Wee Alter Alter. Because this is the first one on the smaller scale. And this one is made with reclaimed construction materials. These are uh, two by tens. And they're seated on an antique uh, footstool, which originally had a needlepoint cover. So again, not all reclaimed materials, but the primary components are reclaimed. Uh, and this one, much like its companion over here, Altar Altar 4. The top is made out of two pieces that almost meet. And this is a recurring theme, plays with the tension of brokenness and wholeness. The space between. Uh, this again is reclaimed construction materials, but this was a real find, um, or actually a gift. These are pieces of cherry. Mounted on what I think used to be a plant stand. Your show is called Alter Alter, or that's Alter A-L-T-E-R. 
followed by Alter A L T A R. Did you mean to impart a certain spirituality to the show, or is there a meaning behind that you'd like to share with us? The play on words between altar with an A uh, as a sacred object and altar referring to the fact that the pieces are all made with repurposed materials. Uh, not entirely repurposed material, but the principal components always are. And sometimes there's uh, more or less evidence of that previous life. Uh, I think um, repurposed materials, uh, upcycling, some people call it, um, is is something that we're really interested in at Heck House. Uh, and I think that there are a lot of ways to look at that. Um, you know, having made art on a budget, uh, it, it, it's been very shrewd at times to be able to see art materials in, in a trash pile. Uh, and and uh, from, from a more philosophical standpoint, uh, we have a lot of stuff in this world. And um, if we just keep tossing it outside and making things from scratch, uh, then we're living in a trash pile. Uh, but if we can find uh, the value in things that have uh, expired their original purpose and make them beautiful and make them whole and useful again, uh, I think that in itself is a beautiful thing. It's always fascinating to sit back and watch people processing information that you've put out there and uh, wondering how different their take on it is from your own. And that is right there about answering this. Danielle and I am on the board for Heck House. It's a nonprofit organization in DeKalb County. Um, I'm also a neighbor of Heck House. So I live just a few streets down. I've been living here for about four or five years now. Um, I love the Heck House because um, it's funky, it's fun. Um, it's all inclusive. Uh, there's a huge group of people working with the Heck House uh, that are supportive of the community artists. They're amplifying uh, the artwork and the voices of these local artists. Um, it's something that DeKalb County needs more of. Um, and we are starting new programs at the Heck House. One of the programs that we are starting is called Heck of a Lot of Jewelry. Uh, it's a community-led program. Um, the purpose for this program is uh, to keep metals um, and, and trash out of landfill. What can we do with this stuff? How can we make it into art? Let's work together um, and inspire each other. Uh, spark creativity and conversation around uh, repurposing. Um, what does it mean to repurpose? Um, what does creativity mean to the individual? Because it's different for everyone. Um, for me, um, art is very personal. Uh, it, it's an expression of my emotions, my feelings, my soul. Um, when I create art, it's not just um, a piece of, of fancy jewelry. It comes of a place of spirituality for me. Um, it comes from a place of love and freedom. Um, so this is something that's really important to each and every one of us, and it's going to be different for each and every one of us. Um, but that's, that's definitely the purpose of this program is to touch each individual and their own understanding of their own art. Um, yeah.
her arm or being a team player on someone else's. And a lot of times you don't see her. She's in the background, right? Where is she? And what you do is this, I, this is a trick that I do. I go back to childhood, take myself back to childhood, and I visualize the dust at the bottom of a fruitless spot. And magically Heidi's head appears in the background <laughs> and she's always doing something useful she is uh, like a like a ethereal mason laying the foundation for head to house so I'm delighted that we get to see in Jess Puffets today and she's got a special collaborator here with Sylvia who is well known for her culinary work but has made a big name for herself recently as a performer so I'm excited to hear the together and if we have time Sylvia I'd love to hear about the new project that you're working on to be featured on on Heck TV yeah a poetry festival a PBJ festival which will be April Saturday April 22nd and it'll be a long affair with 22 poets and over half of them are published poets yeah so that will not be here at Heck House but brought to you by Heck TV coming from you live and I think Candler Park in Atlanta, Yes, right? it'll be at Bibliotech um, Books in Atlanta um, on the corner of Oakdale and McClendon and it is a rare bookstore and it's not just a bookstore, it's a community hub so every Wednesday um, they have improv there nice. and I actually went to one and it's so amazing so 50 people showed up in that bookstore and they broke up into groups and they did improv exercises which kind of blows my mind I don't know how people do improv but uh, yeah it's amazing so it's the perfect partner and it's the perfect fe festival to align with what Heck House is all about which is uh, to promote arts accessibility meaning that anyone can can do arts we just had a jewelry uh, making workshop so people can make anything given the like right their, tools they're playing our song it's, yeah. it's artists collaborating together and collaborating together and making community and making art together so maybe i should get out of the way and let y'all make some art am i right all right this first song i'm a songwriter this first song is called the scorpion and the frog and it's based on an old folk tale Puppet Show by Heidi and Ingest Puppets. This is the Scorpion and the Frog.
happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> so usually the ending that people give it is a reflection of their own relationship at the time. So uh, I'd like to hear your ending <laughs> sometime. So this next song is a song I wrote. Um, it is called Heart-Shaped Game, and it's about trees, native trees to Georgia. So my name is Sylvia, and that's spelled Sylvia with two I's. So in case you're typing my name up and looking for me on Instagram at sylviaontheukulele.com. But it comes from the Latin, and it means forest nymph. My grandfather was a forest ranger in the Philippines. And according to the family story, whenever he would come across a village that wasn't on the maps, he would name the village after a woman in the family. And I'm also a certified master gardener, so you'll hear in my set today many songs about trees and plants. puppets on Instagram. So now Heidi has so many puppets. So the first first one was a shadow puppet. She does so many different genres. And uh, this last one was a rod puppet. 
and now this one is just a it was a singing rod puppet <laughs> and this one is a flying rod puppet <laughs> I like to write a lot of songs about animals, but this is a very special animal. It's a native bird, native to Georgia. It's the barred owl. And it's called the barred owl because it has these dots on it that when you look at it from afar, it looks like it has bars. But I composed this song on a soprano ukulele, so for you, musicians out there, this song you'll notice has a lot of bard chords.
want you to follow <laughs> us here on YouTube, <laughs> Heck TV YouTube. <laughs> So wherever we are, Heck TV on Instagram, Facebook, all the platforms, please follow us. We want you. We want you to sign up, show up here at our workshops, join us on our board uh, team, offer what you have to offer, and we are here for you. So this next song, oh yes, I keep forgetting it's Valentine's Day. So however you celebrate it or don't celebrate it, um, this is a, this next song is called Birds and Bees. So we are here in Scottsdale, but in the Atlanta area in Georgia. I moved here from Hawaii, uh, known for ukulele and slack key. <coughs> And here I am in Atlanta now, in the land of banjos and blues. So I had a branding problem, like why would anyone come watch a ukulele player in Atlanta? But here I am, uh, very much influenced by bluegrass music. And this is a song I wrote. Um, the melody is taken from one of the oldest bluegrass standards, and for hundreds of years, people have been writing their own lyrics to this melody, and this melody is called Shady Grove, and it's one of the oldest songs. Um, and I'm adding my ukulele lyrics to this song, and I've called it Birds and Bees, and it is about domestic bliss. Just add so much to the song. 
So that song actually was written first as a poem, and then I added the melody. And Amy, could you hand me that little uh, frying pan that's on? Yeah. So if you come to one of my shows, I have this um, uh, this merch that I have. So that song, there's a lyric in there about honey and uh, honey and cornbread for two. So this is a skillet. Uh, and it's got a recipe for cornbread, and it's one of my merches. <laughs> so you can actually make it in that tiny little thing? Yeah, there's a recipe oh, for it. Cool. Yeah. So um, I think uh, you'll show a clip later of my day job. Yeah, they show it now. So okay. I am working on it right now. Hi, I'm Chef Sylvia owner of Word of Mouth Cooking Club. I'm a boutique catering company here in Atlanta, Georgia. I am cooking here for Primavera Preschool. The kids really enjoy the meals. Buen provecho. Follow for more. Ode to Heck House by Heidi Carpenter and Jess Puppets. <laughs> Four years ago was Heck's first event on my daughter Joy's 18th birthday, so of course we went. We painted a picnic table for fun, and our sugar skull design almost won. The Heck House pets are as sweet as can be. Humpty and the cats always say, please pet me, don't they? Yeah. I've had puppet workshops and sold merchandise. The Heck House atmosphere is always quite nice. Don't get me started on all the amazing shows. Drag, music, burlesque, then what? Who knows? Many of my friends have performed in this space. Lucy Juggles, Bean and Bear, and Toy Box put smiles on my face. I've carved pumpkins, painted pews, and done open mics. I document it all on socials and get lots of likes. These pandemic years have been really hard, but everything feels better when we can hang out in this yard. So thank you, Paula and Heck House, for all that you have done to make the world brighter and help us all have fun. Oh, we're back? Okay. <laughs> Sylvia on the ukulele, and this is a song about horses. It's based on an old Irish saying, you know, Scottish saying, that if a wish were a horse, then beggars would ride, and it was meant to be negative, but this song is positive.
When we talk about pride, please remember the kids for just being themselves and figuring out who that is. Pete is perfection and he's pretty in pink. He pretends he's a princess. He doesn't care what you think. Ruth is a rebel who'd rather be found in her rock and red race car, brooming around. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Ivy is an introvert and incidentally non-binary. So using they, them pronouns is important, you see? So don't discourage, diminish, or drive them to tears, but defend their diversity. They're delightful young queers. Everyone should embrace their eccentricities, equality for all of our extraordinary gaieties. Lately. I'm also a poet and I usually start out my songs as poems and then I add the melody after. But this was a poem that did not want to turn into, into a song. So I turned it into a musical poem and it's about my mother. She called me one day to say she lost her favorite machete. This is called Machete Mama. So she said, could I hold my guitar while I recite my poems? And I said, sure, do, do what makes you comfortable. 
So that's Saturday, April 22nd. So thank you for having me and Heidi. Thank you, Heidi, for your beautiful um, puppet work. I didn't know much about puppet work until I saw what she did. And we just were at a puppetry slam yesterday. And uh, so it's great to integrate all of the arts community. And you know, Heck House has become a hub for everything from puppetry to music to jewelry making to what else i don't even know so much video yeah we do video uh video concerts here so and it's constantly evolving with um the more members we have and more board members and participation this is really um what the community makes this space so thank you all for having me and i'll turn this back over I want to invite all of our performers and technical staff to join me up on stage. Thank you so much for joining us for our episode one of Heck TV. We hope to be back for many, many more. Thank you so much. Wow.